What's up everyone? All right, today we are going to clean the 4328 climbers. Um, I'm going to, Red Wing recommends, this is Black Prairie leather. Red Wing recommends using leather cream, but I am going to use mink oil on this leather. I want this to have a little bit of a shine to it. And so uh, that's why I'm going to use mink oil. Update on the engineers I soaked yesterday. Here they are. Uh, it worked out perfectly. I soaked them for 10 minutes in water, warm water wore them the entire day until they dried. Uh, my feet started to get cold once the leather started to hit that air and I was walking around, um, but it worked out perfectly. I had zero pain across this part here where I normally am ready to uh, throw the boots off and whine. Zero pain whatsoever, uh, worked out perfectly. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys, the 8866 here in the Oro. Uh, this is uh, day three of applying all natural boot oil on these. I've, um, every morning I wake up, I apply another uh, coat. I'll stop at three. I kind of wanted them to, I wanted to see if they would darken any. Um, I, I would say it was very slight bit of darkening happened, but not as much as I would have liked to. But uh, just an experiment, being that we're um, all stuck in at home quarantine, so I thought I'd try that out and see how it worked, and uh, it darkened it slightly. Not as much, uh, you know, like I saw you saw the 2940s where I had that, um, where I thought I ruined the boots, uh, but they ended up being fine in the end. Uh, I thought this would probably take on a little bit of that uh, darker coat, but no, it didn't. But all good. All right, so now on to the 4328. Let's get these. Uh, so I, um, these laces here are from, I think they're from my harvesters. The laces that come with the 4328 are the Taslin, the orange and yellow Taslin, uh, which I never put in. I didn't really like the way that looked. And then, so I threw in the leather laces. It comes with two pairs. The leather laces are a bit thick for the machined hooks that you have here. So, um, I used those until I was just like, all right, I'm good. And then ended up um, putting in these from my, I believe these are from my harvesters. So these are brown and um, brown and black Taslin, which I think looks really good. So I'm going to just throw in a coat of mink oil. These are pretty, uh, these are broken in, I would say. I've worn these quite a bit. I didn't have many issues. Maybe here on the counter a little bit, but other than that, um, the leather is soft enough to break in quite easily. Like my 3345s, which I have, those, um, I think I wore uh, two days in a row just to get break them in. And then in total, maybe I've worn them maybe five times, six times. And um, they are perfect now. Uh, let me just wet this towel in warm water. So I'm just gonna pass this over the boot really quickly. I'm not gonna use any soap. Just uh, warm water on this. All right, so let that dry and then we will apply the mink oil. All right, so now the boot has dried. Uh, I'm just gonna pass the brush over quickly just in case there's any um, particles from the rag I used. We'll do that to both really quickly before we apply the mink oil. All right. 
So we have the mink oil here, and we're going to apply that. And as you all know, I like to apply mink oil with my hands. using the heat of my hand on that leather. And I've probably stated um, in the past that this is this was my favorite release of Red Wing of uh, 2019. Out of all the boots uh, I picked up last year, this one was um, by far my favorite. It was a surprise. I, I didn't know this one was... Uh, coming out, I knew the others being released, but um, this one was designed beautifully. So much so, I ended up picking up two pairs, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the second pair, whether I'm going to do a resole or not. It's hard to uh, remove this green sole because this green sole is pretty cool. Look at that shine, beautiful. One of my favorite things on this boot is this green piping that they decided to put on to match the sole. <clears throat> Beautiful shine. I'll show you the other one. This one's ready for a parade. <laughs> I think the Billy Boot may have been more popular than this one, but I feel like this is a better, in my opinion, better boot. Although I, I think this threw a lot of people off here, which I can understand. But you can have it replaced and you can have this removed as well. Just take the stack out. See, there's like a little nick right here where that uh, brown is showing. And here on the, uh, the tongue, I don't know if you can see that, where those laces rub on, the, on that leather. It's starting to show the brown underneath this um, black over dye.
right. Let's let these sit and dry and then uh, we'll put the laces back in there, but they're looking really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an old t-shirt and just give the boots a once over. They look absolutely gorgeous. They're drying. That's nice. It's soaking in. I'm not going to uh, uh, buff it. Just going to do little small circles like this. Just kind of removing just a tiny bit of the, uh, the excess uh, mink oil. So it's not sitting on there and just doing little circular motions here on this leather, but they look gorgeous, guys. I'm using a, a t-shirt because um, usually I find with the rags, what they do is they uh, will leave little uh, bits from the rag, little pieces, and I don't want that, the little, um, I guess it would be like um, lint. I don't want that on my boot. So that's why I'm using an old t-shirt, a uh, cotton t-shirt. Just these nice circular motions. As you can see, I'm not moving and changing uh, the section of the t-shirt for uh, a newer position because I want the buildup that's happening um, on this, where my finger is on the t-shirt to continue so that it's not removing anything. It's just kind of moving it and evening things out. Look at that. Woo, that is gorgeous. Okay, let's bring out the other boot. Do it again. I can't wait to wear these now that I've done this to them. I think they're gonna look amazing. I'm gonna show these off. Do the tongue bit if I didn't do that. Absolutely stunning. All right, look at these. Woo! Beautiful. All right, so now uh, I'm gonna let them sit for a minute and then I'm going to uh, lace them up. All right, so I'm extremely pleased with how the climber looks after the application of mink oil. So now I'm going to lace the boots up and seriously consider thinking about wearing these now that they have this nice shine to them. The 3345 blacksmith is quite popular um, this season from Red Wing, which is the Black Prairie blacksmith. Uh, those who picked it up, um, you may or may not have conditioned it yet. I'm curious if you do have it, what you applied, if you followed the uh, Red Wing guidelines and applied the leather cream, or if you did something else. Um, comment below and let me know what you've used. I haven't applied anything to the 3345s yet. They still, uh, like I said, I think I may have just worn them a total five times or so, but um, they did break in quite easily. The blacksmith is probably one of the easiest uh, boots to break in. Uh, one of my favorites, just an all around easy boot for dressing up, dressing down. Um, so uh, I didn't imagine it would take that long to um, to break that in, considering uh, the ones that I do have. 
And the black prairie leather, uh, I think this, so they came out with the mock toe, they came out with the blacksmith, and I don't recall um, any other time um, seeing this leather in any boots or owning it. So I think it was just new this year. It's kind of like um, a uh, Klondike, but a softer Klondike leather, black Klondike leather, but it's a softer um, version, so much easier. And there's, I guess the black Klondike has a, a shine to it, and the black prairie is like a matte version. That's the best way to put it, I, I would say. Because honestly, the this tongue on this boot feels as thick as black Klondike. Or if you have this boot and you may have applied leather cream to this one. Just let me know in the comments what, uh, what you have done to condition this boot. All right, so there you have it. The 4328 Climber conditioned with the Red Wing Mink Oil. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.